welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. This one is just going to be a quick one to show you how to uh, constrain things to a surface. So if you're having a hard time placing all of your objects, you can use something called the constraint tag uh, to basically be able to set the distance of your object from another surface. And that way you can move it around and you won't have to worry about, uh, about where that surface shows up. So or where the object shows up on that surface. So I'm just gonna create a landscape here. I'm gonna make it quite big and we'll amplify the height a little bit. And then I'm just gonna get rid of the fong tag to kind of make it have that low poly look. And uh, you know, we could even bump down some of the segments just to make it look even more low poly. <clears throat> so then I'm just gonna bring in this tree that I have, this low poly tree that I'm gonna size down a little bit so you could just go through and you know drop this into place on your model until you're on the surface and then you know you could hit command and drag out another tree and do that but that's really not an efficient use of your time especially in the case of making a full forest so what you can do is on your tree if you go into your character tags and you just drop a constraint on if you check clamp, it will bring up another menu here where you can set the target to be the landscape. And then we're gonna also make sure that we're setting it to the surface. So right away, this thing jumps far away and uh, but you'll see that red line indicating where on the surface it's constrained to. And so all we need to do is just play with the distance. And once we get that down to a place where we know that tree root is gonna connect, looks like about 40 centimeters right now. Now I could just drag this anywhere and you'll notice even if I go up the hill it's staying totally constrained to my surface and we could even uh, create some instances of this tree and uh, let's see create instances and drag these out as well but you'll notice that the instance itself does not have the uh, does not have the constraint tag on it. And if you were to save and come back, this this would go right back to its original position. So uh, what we need to do is just add a constraint tag on our instance, and then we should be able, if we set it down to 40 centimeters, be able to do the same thing with our instance. And now this is what we can use to drag out. Anyway, so that, that's just kind of a quick tutorial, quick trick on how to constrain things to your surface. Just use the constraint tag, clamp it, and drop in the, uh, the surface that you want so that any model, um, even if we wanted to drop in uh, something like this ambulance here, same thing, give it a constraint tag, clamp it, drop in the landscape, and set it to surface and drop it down to a, uh, a height that you want. So this would be good to have if you're simulating a car driving across an uneven surface. You can see that right there it's doing a good job of making it look as though it's traveling along that surface. Um, even though it may not be rotating on its axis, uh, it's doing a pretty good job. So anyway, I hope this was uh, helpful. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more.